everyone, this is Lorraine. So today I'm going to go over my 23rd week of pregnancy. I feel like my 23rd week was very similar to my 22nd week of pregnancy, so if you haven't watched that pregnancy vlog, I suggest you do so. If you have, here are the exceptions. Exception number one, I was sick one of the first days of this, preg uh, this week. Um, one of the first days of my 23rd week. Um, and it wasn't necessarily like the flu, which I imagine if you were to get the flu during pregnancy, it would be like a hundred times worse than the normal flu, just because um, your body is just handling everything different and everything kind of just is draining you a little bit more. For me, getting sick this week, I had extreme exhaustion, a lot like I did in the first trimester. I didn't get like morning sickness, like the vomiting one. I was just extremely exhausted. So I had that extreme exhaustion came back which you can kind of overcome, but at the same time, you just are completely drained, so you kind of feel, I, for me, I felt completely useless when I had that um, during the first trimester. So that came back in full force, and then on top of it, I had this extreme pressure in my lower belly, and I don't know whether it was because of how the baby was positioned that day, or if it was because my belly had actually was actually growing and stretching or something because my belly definitely I feel like has gotten a lot bigger this past week but uh, it just was it was really uncomfortable where I couldn't stand for a very long period of time so I ended up just use, taking that whole day and kind of just laying on the couch with my little my little puppy Clyde Pie and uh, we just laid there and we watched Hulu and that was my day. So sometimes when you're pregnant you just have to take it easy and I was fortunate enough that day that I really didn't have much going on that I was able to take it easy. So um, I, I just, it was horrible. Um, luckily the next day I woke up and I felt 100% uh, better. I had, This week I did not experience any back pain. Um, I just experienced that little bit there of the pressure in my belly, uh, but other than that, I'm, I felt pretty good this week. Um, this, the day after, however, I did not experience as much movement as I had in the past, uh, compared to the past week, um, where the movement just felt like little, just kind of little twinges, like not much, and it kind of made me a little nervous. I'm like, shouldn't they, shouldn't the movement be getting progressively stronger and stronger every day, um, or at least every week, and it just wasn't there uh, the day after I felt sick, so it just made me nervous, although I did feel a little bits, and it made me reassured, um, but I that, then it led me to going on Google and Googling um, baby movement like tracker or something like that, and then I ended up reading that you really should start tracking your baby's movement about 28 weeks. So um, it made me feel a lot better about that because I'm like, oh, at this point in time, they really don't suggest you start really tracking the baby's movement. I guess you can if you want, but um, they're not suggesting it at this point in time. So uh, I read that and I felt a lot better. And then the following day, I felt him uh, the same as the 22nd week. And then towards the end of the 23rd week, I've been feeling him a lot more even during the day, whereas in the 22nd week, I was feeling him maybe like here or there during the day and a lot at night, um, whereas now I'm starting to feel him um, little bits throughout the day and he's a lot stronger at night, where one night I couldn't actually sleep, I was having a hard time sleeping, I was just kind of lying in bed awake and he was just like, he was going to town on my belly, so he was he's really active during the night time when I'm, when I'm just kind of still. Um, I don't know if it's just because I don't really notice it as much while I'm walking around during the day or just doing things throughout the day, um, whereas if I'm still I really feel it, I, or if I'm just putting him to sleep during the day as I'm walking around and doing things. I don't know what it is exactly, but he is really active at nighttime, so that was pretty exciting. One of the questions I get asked all of the time, um, whether it be on the internet, whether it be in person is what I'm craving, and I really have yet to have any cravings, and uh, that's same goes for like, I don't know, mood swings, all that stuff. I'm pretty like, just content. I'm not really, I don't think my, I don't think I've changed in any way. I see people on here um, 
uh, comment they're like oh you're so much happier than you were before and I'm like I'm really not happier it just there's this is a topic that when I talk about this on camera it actually makes me smile whereas if I talk about like a makeup product or something I feel like I would be a little foolish if I was sitting there staring at like a lipstick and being like I love my little precious lipstick so um, this is just me but when I talk about topics that are more exciting for me um, I am a lot more smiley so I've been pretty much the same um, cravings though my husband's had cravings and I thought that was kind of funny because last week uh, he and he had called me at one point and he's like I'm craving deli meat and I just thought that was hilarious because my husband is the one that is craving things and I thought maybe each week I should ask him what he's craving this week and let you all know because I think that's a little bit funny he also did go to the grocery store usually I'm the one that goes to the grocery store but he went by himself one day and he ended up buying like two kinds of Oreos so he must have been craving Oreos as well so my husband was craving Oreos and he was craving um, deli meat this week so no cravings for me yet but my husband he's craving things I've had some questions about swelling as far as like fingers and whatnot. Um, I really haven't experienced like where I can't wear my rings anymore. I can still wear my rings and everything. I am however nervous about swelling. So I end up taking off my rings and uh, jewelry whereas before I would sleep in it and just never take off my jewelry. But now I take off my jewelry when I exercise and before I go to bed at night because I'm terrified that I'm just one day I'm gonna swell up and uh, I'm gonna have to have my rings cut off my my body and I really don't want that to happen so I've just been more conscious about it but I haven't really had any swelling as of yet as far as exercise goes as well I have been um, in addition to my walking I haven't done my yoga class but as in addition to my walking I started to lift some weights. <laughs> um, I, they're just three pound weights and I just, after I do my um, six mile walk, I go in the bathroom with my, and I just kind of do little, different little arm exercises because when the baby gets here, I plan on holding him a lot and I'm gonna have to end up, you know, putting together a stroller and taking it apart and putting it in my car and, and that's heavy. So I just really, I really want my arms to be, you know, at their best. So we're gonna get our arms. Plus, I don't. I feel like now that I'm pregnant, I feel like I can. I notice them getting a little bit flabbier than before, which is completely fine. I'm supposed to gain weight. I'm pregnant, um, but I'm like, I'll just start lifting arm weights. I've also noticed that, um, in addition to my belly getting like ginormous and my boobs getting ginormous. I've noticed that I have gained a little bit of weight in my thighs, which I think is kind of funny because my thighs are actually, um, I gain weight in my legs last and I lose weight from my legs first. It's just like that area of my body that pretty much stays skinny all of the time. And so I noticed this past week that I started to gain a little bit of weight in my thighs and so um, it doesn't bother me except when I wear like a dress or something so I've been really wearing a lot of pants this past week I haven't worn any dresses and it's because I really don't like the feeling of my thighs touching in the middle um, and it's not because I, I don't mind getting like extra fat on me but it just is like it's almost for me like feeling that rub back and forth together it's almost like nails on a chalkboard for me so I just don't like it it just doesn't feel comfortable um, also with my body and the uncomfortableness, uh, I mentioned last week that I had purchased underwear. I purchased some more underwear this week. I went to Victoria's Secret. Um, I'm going to show you the kind that I really liked because I had a couple questions about them. Um, they look like this. Uh, they're really, really comfortable. They're this really nice fabric and I think they're like four for $25 and this one is a hip hugger and uh, it doesn't look very appealing when you see it here. Uh, I bought these ones in a medium. I normally wear a small at Victoria's Secret and I but did buy some in a small and I have some in a medium and they don't really matter what the size but they feel really comfortable and I like that you know like 
my butt cheeks come out the sides a little bit. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's kind of sexy. So I wanted like kind of like boy short underwear and whatnot. Um, I was debating on whether showing you like all of the underwear I purchased or uh, just the ones that I thought were really comfortable, but I'm just going to show you these for now. So they look kind of like grandma panties a little bit, but they look a little sexy on, especially with the way they lay pretty low underneath the belly and then butt cheeks and my butt hasn't gotten any bigger. Someone asked me, did your butt get any bigger? I'm like, no, just my, my thighs have though, all of a sudden. Another thing that I wanted to show you was uh, that I got a gift from my friend Tiffany, who you all may know or may not know as Makeup by Tiffany D on, um, on YouTube. And I like loved everything she sent me, including the cards, so I wanted to show you. I haven't checked my P.O. box this past week, so if you sent me like a card or something, I haven't checked it yet. Um, but she did this, and then this is such a cute card, and she sent me this, and this is, I made sure to ask her where it's from, and the card is from Target, as well as all the other things that she purchased me. So if you need new stationery, these are really cute. I think this is like completely adorable. So. Um, she sent me that, and then she sent me, she actually messaged me a couple of days before the package arrived, and she's like, uh, can you stay away from Target for a few days, because I got you some things, and I don't want you to, like, already have them. But I swear that by these purchases she made, my Target never has anything this cute. So, she got me these cute little booties, um, they are Carter's for Target. And they are completely adorable, and they are completely my style. I've been buying a lot of stripes and a lot of like neutral colors, and they don't have anything like weird on them, so I really enjoy that. So I really love these cute little booties she bought. Um, and then she got me this little onesie with a little mustache on it, and it's Cherokee. And she bought it in a size 6 to 9 months, which was a very smart thing, because when you purchase gifts for... Um, someone that's pregnant a lot of times people will want to purchase newborn gifts and it's nice when you get like kind of spaced out so I've been buying like a lot of like all over the board clothes when I buy things but uh, that was really cute and then my most favorite purchase that she made for us um, was this blanket and I actually posted a picture of this on my Instagram with our stroller. We got a Bugabee, Bugaboo um, Chameleon 3, and I thought it looked so cute with it. And it's Cherokee also, and I don't know if it's actually a baby blanket or if it's just a blanket she found that she thought was cute for the baby, but I absolutely love it. So um, if you like it and you're not pregnant or you don't have a child, I think it's a great blanket to have like just for yourself. So I think it's really cute. Um, <laughs> But that's about it for this week, and um, I'm going to post a couple videos this week. First of all, I went a little Etsy crazy, so I got some things from Etsy.com, and I wanted to share those with you on a separate video. And then um, I did buy some new maternity clothes, uh, which I bought uh, technically in my 24th week, so I didn't want to show you those yet. Oh, and now I'm going to show you my belly bump. I feel like it's definitely gotten bigger this week. Look at that. That's definitely a baby bump in there, isn't it? Okay. So it's definitely gotten bigger. I'm still wearing my Paige jeans, which I absolutely love. Oops, I'm pulling up my underwear with it. Um, but yeah, it's definitely getting to be a big baby bump. Undeniable. I love it. I love it. And that is all for now, so if you have any questions, feel free to post them below, and I will see you all very soon.